My name is Andrea and today I'm making Southern style chicken salad. This is such a simple and delicious recipe. Once you learn it, you'll never go back to the store-bought chicken salad again. So let me show you what you're going to need. I'm using about a pound and a half of boneless, skinless chicken thighs and there are three of them here. Now if you prefer white meat, that would work as well. You're also going to need some chicken bouillon, mayo, sweet relish. Now, if you prefer dill relish, then that is absolutely fine too. You're going to need three eggs and salt and pepper or whatever seasonings you prefer. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing that I'm gonna do is cook my chicken. I've already cleaned it. and I'm just adding it to the pot here. And you don't want to drown your chicken, you want just enough water to cover your chicken. And to that, I'm adding one teaspoon of chicken bouillon. And I'm just gonna let bring the chicken to a boil, and then I'm going to simmer it and let it cook for about 30, 40 minutes or until it's done. While I'm waiting for my chicken to cook, I'm gonna start my eggs. I like to add my eggs to a cold pot of water bring it to a boil. Once it starts to boil, I leave it on the burner, cover it with the lid for about 10 minutes and they're always perfectly cooked. Okay, so my eggs are finished cooking and I peeled them, set them aside, got my chicken here on a cutting board and what I'm doing right now is just pulling those pieces of fat off of those chicken thighs. Okay, so once you have that fat off of the chicken, you're gonna use a food processor um, to chop your chicken up into fine pieces. Now, if you don't have a food processor, I've seen people use a hand mixer, and of course you could always use a knife and just chop it up on a cutting board. But I'm just putting some pieces in here and I'm just gonna process a little bit at a time. And this is the consistency that you're looking for. Okay, so I've got my chicken all chopped up. Now it's time to do the same thing to my eggs. Okay, so I'm just gonna add in my eggs. And I like my eggs a little chunkier than my chicken. So you're gonna see that they're gonna be in uh, bigger pieces, but that's a personal preference. Okay, so now it's time to put everything together. I live by the adage that it's easier to add than it is to take it away. So I always add less, and then after I taste it, you can go back in and add more. But I'm adding in probably about a quarter cup of sweet pickle relish. Again, if you prefer dill relish, dill pickle relish, then that is absolutely fine. And I'm not a big mayo person, so I always add the minimum. So I'm adding about a quarter of a cup, and then I'm gonna give it a good stir to see how I feel about the consistency, and I may need to add more. So it's still a little dry. I'm gonna add a little bit more mayo to it. All right, so this is the texture that I like for my chicken salad. If you like more mayo, definitely feel free to go for it. I'm gonna add in my salt and pepper now. And again, this is to taste. I have probably a little less than half a teaspoon of each. And if you're the type that enjoys um, like grapes or nuts in your uh, chicken salad, this is, to this is the time to add those in as well. So just give it another good stir. Now for the best flavor, you wanna refrigerate your chicken salad for a few hours, let those uh, seasonings come together. Also, you'll notice when you take it out of the refrigerator, um, you're, you may need to add a little bit more mayo to it because it might you know, kind of suck up that mayo in the fridge. So you may need to add just a little bit more mayo to it. Okay, so I gave it a little taste and it needed a little bit more salt. So I just added it in there, give it a good stir, and then I'm going to pop this into the refrigerator and then I'll get it plated up so you can see how it all turns out. Okay, so here is the chicken salad after letting it chill in the fridge for a little while. And here it is all plated up. I love serving chicken salad um, on a croissant. I like to grill mine. And then I've got some lettuce and tomato on there. And then just serving it with a side of chips. It would also be delicious with crackers or in a wrap as well. 
I hope you all enjoyed this quick and easy recipe. If you did, please make sure to give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, we'd love to have you. I will make sure to put the recipe in the description box, as well as a playlist of quick and easy recipes that I think you all will enjoy. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you all next time.